Electronic waste is the fastest growing waste stream in the world. When we think about single stream recycling and putting stuff curbside, we completely overlook every single gadget in our lives that have circuit boards. And so part of it is just somebody's got to be looking into this and providing a solution. My name is Amanda LaGrange and I'm the CEO of Tech Dump and Tech Discount. Tech Dump and Tech Discounts collectively are an IT asset disposition organization, which is just a fancy way of saying electronics, recycling, refurbishing, and resale. We collect excess electronics under the name of Tech Dump, which then go through a vetted process of sorting, preparing, testing, and then selling through our Tech Discounts brick and mortar retail store. Tech Dump actually is a very interesting start. We started by wanting to build a business model that employed and trained individuals coming out of incarceration, and then landed on a business model of electronics recycling. Our work readiness training program is an 18 month program focused at providing opportunities to stabilize as an individual re-enters our community. Our whole goal is to provide them with what they need to overcome various barriers so that they are ready to not only get that next job after our program, but retain it and continue to be successful in their employment. Each year we process between three to four million pounds of electronics. We just celebrated the 35 millionth pound process since our founding. We recycle anything with a cable cord or battery. We see the most of laptops, desktop computers. We see a lot of TVs, both the old ancient CRT tube TVs and the newer flat panel TVs, but really we've seen it all. A really important part of our process is our teardown team where they are doing manual dismantling work with hand tools, with screwdrivers, and taking apart the elements of electronics, getting the plastic separate from the circuit board, separate from any aluminum or copper, and sending those items down a conveyor belt, making sure that they end up in the right component box, and then those get sent on to vetted certified vendors for shredding, smelting, and being used as the next electronic. We could probably recycle a laptop in a matter of minutes, but there's certainly a process of getting it into our facility, whether it's our truck team going and picking those items up, a person dropping it off to our customer service door, and then going through our sorting process, which my guess is that whole process would take about 30 days. I think we underestimate how harmful the contents of our electronics are. Electronics today have lead and other harmful components that especially if put into a landfill and exposed to water can be deadly to our water sources. It's also overlooking the rich amount of materials and metals that could be reclaimed rather than requiring us to continue to mine our natural resources. There's a lot of bad players in our industry and a lot of scandals over the years. And so when I think about the people who inspire me in this industry, it's my team. It's individuals who show up every day to work to test hundreds of monitors, to use the tiny screws and the tiny screwdrivers needed to repair laptops to get them back into our community. It's the individuals taking apart stuff that could seem so mundane and yet they're reclaiming important resources uh, to recycle and to turn into something new. And our team, we don't take shortcuts. We do it the right way and we prove out that you can do it the right way. My hope is that Tech Dump is not only a place that is employing people that are often overlooked for employment because of a criminal background, but that we're also proving that a business can be successful by prioritizing our work on this amazing group of talent and that we're proving those stereotypes wrong, that we're showing that there are amazing people that might happen to have had experience in the justice system and have so much to bring to our community.